This is a full step-by-step, no-nonsense guide on how to get started with eBay dropshipping for absolutely free. Just before we get right into this video, let me introduce myself. My name is Marcus Pereira. I've been dropshipping for close to five years now on eBay, done well over a million dollars. So if you want more eBay dropshipping videos before this video begins, please leave a like, subscribe if you guys want more content like this. And without further ado, let's get right into it. So this video will be broken up into three sections. Section one is creating your account and getting started. Section two is finding the products to be listed. And then section three is fulfilling the orders. So without wasting any time, let's get right into it. Now, why eBay dropshipping works amazingly is because it's something that you can run from anywhere in the world and it works in pretty much every country. Now, the countries that it's eligible in are here. All you have to do is go to eBay and scroll down. If you aren't from any of these countries, you won't be able to do eBay dropshipping in your country, meaning you'll have to sell in another country's marketplace. So I'm from Australia. Australia has its own market. The most popular countries are the US and the UK and Canada. So if you are from one of those countries, awesome. It's very easy to get started. If you're not still, you know, you can still get started with eBay dropshipping. It just might be a bit harder because there's less demand and less uh, customers using eBay in those countries. Another good reason why eBay dropshipping is probably the best business model to get started right away in is it's absolutely free. You know, you don't have to pay for any inventory up front. You don't have to pay for ads. You can just get started right away with very minimal cost. So... To register, all you have to do is go to eBay, go to your marketplace, because I'm from Australia, I'm at .com.au, and press the register button. If you have an account already, that's better, because having a new account and then trying to sell right away is a bit of a flag for eBay. They don't like that, and it can result in you getting suspended. Once you're here, all you have to do is literally enter your first, last name, email, password, and select a personal account. I know it's a business, but a business account is a proper business entity trying to sell on eBay. You're just a personal individual, so click personal. And that quickly, you've already got an account set up. Step one is pretty much done, and now you're on to the more fun part, which is step two, which is finding those products to be sold. So for this, you can use any supplier. I would recommend using the supplier in the country that you are from. So I'm from Australia, so I'm on amazon.com.au. If you're from the UK, you could use amazon.co.uk. That's step one. And then step two is any retailer that's reputable is recommended to be used. Now, eBay do not like third-party fulfillment, meaning if you do this incorrectly, you can get suspended. This is just a simple crash course. I'm not going to go into how to avoid suspension because that could be a whole another hour of me talking. But if you are interested in taking eBay dropshipping to the next level, I do offer a full step-by-step -step course, which goes into every single small detail, like suspensions, like how to increase feedback, how to remove feedback, stuff that no one even knows about because it's not publicly online. This is stuff that I've learned over my last five years doing eBay dropshipping. So if that's something you want to look into, I have a link at the top of the description. You can have a look at that. But let's get right into the video. So what I like to do is I like to go to the retailer. And I like to just go to the best sellers section because this will show you items that have been bought frequently on Amazon. Go here is to look for products that are in demand because you want to sell products that people want and you know it's in demand. So I like to start off with something simple like toys and games because I feel like that's a category that's just always in demand. And let's just pick an item like this Lego for example. And all you're going to do is mainly take the code, copy it, and then paste it into eBay. Now, all you have to do here to find someone who's dropshipping is find them selling it for more than the eBay price. So as you can see, the cheapest guy selling it here appears to be this guy for $30. So then you can come in and sell it for $29, and now you're making $6 profit per sale after fees. Now, there's more advanced methods on product research and how to find products that are going to get you $56 dollars profit. But again, this is just a simple crash course. I don't want to go too much into detail because I'll be talking for quite a while going over extensive product research methods. But again, if you are interested in taking eBay dropshipping as your full-time income, feel free to click the link in the top of the description to find out a little bit more about my step-by-step -step course. But without further ado, as we've just seen, we found one product right here. $6 profit isn't too bad, isn't amazing. So what you can do now is you can scroll through and have a look at another one. Let's have a look at the McLaren. This is $196. So when an item is more expensive, you know, there's a better chance you're going to make a bit more profit on it. So this product actually isn't that good of a winner. There's someone selling it for cheaper, meaning they have a better retailer than we do. So let's go to the next one. Let's have a look at the Pagani. Make sure we just get the code in there. And you're going to repeat this process. You can do it with different categories. You can do it with different retailers. So this one's going for 35 or 33 is the cheapest. $23. So you're making about $8, $9 profit before fees. Decent product to sell as well. 
And let's just have a look at the AMG. This one costed 47 and cheapest is 53. Not too much profit. I probably wouldn't sell it. So you can do this method. It's a pretty simple and basic method. Again, I didn't want to make this video one too long, but this video into too much depth. That's just a free basic course. But this is all you'd be doing. You can just go through and try different retailers. You can try different suppliers, different products, different categories. This one's going for 55. And we can see the cheapest seems to be 76, 74, $74, 55 after fees. It's about 10, $15 in profit. Not too bad. Pretty good product to sell. That's pretty much the process on finding products. Pretty simple. It's just going in, copy, pasting, and you know, checking if it's profitable or not, listing it if it is. Very basic method of product research. It's you know maybe aiming to get five to ten dollars profit per sale method. Nothing major. It's not going to get you products in there. So really fast. Again, that's more advanced methods of product research. But this is definitely good to get you started and help you understand the process. So the next step is actually fulfilling the order. Let's say we went ahead and we sold this um, air fryer, and we you know we put it on our eBay store, and someone bought it off us for two hundred dollars. So we make $60 before any fees come in. After fees, it'll probably be about $40 in profit. We have to now go and have this item delivered to our customer. So I'm going to show you how to fulfill it. Okay, so this is a bit of an odd format for a video, but it's a quick one. And I just wanted to make this for those who are a bit confused or not entirely sure how to do this. So this is just fulfilling orders. It's very, very simple. But again, if, if you don't you know, know too much about it, completely fine. When you get an order, if you're on your phone, um, you can literally just tap the order and it will tell you the customer's postage details. Um, this is an order, but I've just inspect elemented it all. So it's not real details. You know, you don't have to search up this address because I literally wrote one, two, three test street and it's a random phone number. But um, when you get an order on your phone, you just tap the order, it'll show up the order details. If you're on your laptop like I am right now, if you go to your orders and then you tap the order number itself, it'll be like 85-2560-, it's a long number. If you tap that, it will take you to this section here and it will show you the order name, address, suburb, and phone number. The only thing you need here is the name and the address. You don't need the eBay code, you don't need the phone number. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna use Amazon for example, and again, I've, I've sort of, Cut it skinny so I can hide my own address and my customer up here. Uh, it's a dropship item I've done as well. I'm going to hide their address. So what you're going to do is literally just fill it out. So you know, write, the, write your phone number so you get um, the delivery notifications. You're going to make sure it's your email as well. And it's as simple as just literally entering the details from this page into this page. Um, not much to it. And then all you do is go and you purchase you know, whatever item it is and just go and buy it come out of your card, but you will be paid by eBay for the item because you're going to be selling for a higher price. So let's say you get paid $100 from eBay, the item costs 70, you profited 30. The other thing to keep in mind, and it's a question I get asked a lot is, isn't this item going to come in, you know, Kmart or Amazon or Walmart's box? Well, yes, it will. Um, they won't send out any receipts, so you don't have to tick any gift, gift options. But if you get on some suppliers, you will say, is this a gift? You can tick it just to ensure they don't send any invoices, but most most suppliers never send out invoices. I've sold over 8,000 items, you know, never had any issue when it comes to invoices. Um, the other question I wanna answer is when it comes in the box, will the buyer be mad? Well, again, I've sold over 8,000 items and I've only had a buyer mention an Amazon box or you know any supplier's box literally two times or three times. So it's very, very rare to occur, nothing to worry about. but. Pretty simple, I just want to answer those two questions and then you know show you how to fulfill an order. Pretty simple, but um, yeah, that's about it. And it's that simple. Your product is now being fulfilled. You have made, well, I, in the example, I said it was a $200 product we sold it for and it's $140 to purchase. So we made $60 in profit before any fees and that's it. You've got your first sale done. After it's fulfilled, you just have to submit the tracking number. And once that's done, you're done and you've made your profit. And you have to repeat this process with listing multiple different items, you know, and getting multiple sales per day. If you make 10 sales a day, that's $600 in profit. Uh, sorry, $600 before fees, roughly about $400 in profit per day just from 10 sales. So that is the goal with eBay dropshipping. It's one of the best ways to get started because why? You don't need to pay anything up front. You don't need to pay for ads. You can literally start making $50 to $100 profit per sale using some advanced product research method techniques. If that's something that you want to get into, 
especially the advanced methods, click the top of the link uh, in the description. Have a look at my step-by-step -step program if it's something you're interested in. Let's work together. But hope you guys enjoyed this free video. It's a free quick crash course on how to get started with eBay dropshipping. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you guys want to see more eBay dropshipping content. And until the next video, see you then.